Hey everybody, it's Kenny Conklin from SciFiAnnecy.com and I see the camera's kind of pointing down a little bit. Sure. We have our little cameraman with us who finished his Gundam the other day behind the camera helping us out. And we were going to work on the Vorcha, but uh, that's for my own personal collection, unless somebody wants it. Uh, so I put that on the side and we're going to go back to my brother's build, which is going to take a while. And that is the uh, Enterprise from Star Trek IV. The undiscovered country, yippee yippee! So let's bring you over to the desk and show you what we're uh, we're doing. And there you can see Kenny's Gundam. He's his Gundam Exia is guarding everything. And actually, no, you can look at that, Kenny. I was just taking a peek to see what you were doing. Huh? I was just taking a peek to see what you were doing. Uh -uh. Actually, I was test fitting the other part last year when we were putting this thing together. And I've somehow misplaced this part, so I'm going to have to hopefully find it. If not, I'm probably going to have to make my own casting of it. This way I can put it back on there. And if you remember the last one, this is a little too short, so we might have to figure something out with this to, to make it fit on the, the nacelles. But anyway, what we're up to now is we're making a bumpy into a smoothie over here we were using I used Bondo on the saucers to make it go a little quicker and over here I started actually going with um, sandpaper going from a really rough grit to a lighter to a lighter to an even smoother grit so all I'm doing is let's find a spot where I want to do it and try not to mess things up can you see, Ken? Yeah. All right. I don't know why this one, the plastic yellowed. And this is how it was when I opened the box and the box was sealed. I don't know if the, the kits were made this color. I highly doubt it because it's white underneath. So they were probably white to begin with. But doing it this way takes takes a lot of elbow grease because it's a pain in the butt to get all this stuff off. Some spots you're still going to have to bondo because it doesn't actually, uh, you can't get down like over here, these two spots. I couldn't sand them all the way down so I'll throw some bondo in there and fill that up. I've got many, 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 many many spots to do on these guys smoother I just gotta watch out for the uh, Arboretum windows over here. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with that too. I have no idea what I'm doing with that stuff. Smoother. And smoothest of all. Now I got a nice uh, smooth piece there. So I got to do this whole half, then another whole half, then pylon halves. I'm going to try to do as much as possible with, uh, with the sandpaper instead of the bondo. It does take a little longer, but everything is everything's out of there. And it's just another way to do it if you don't want to sit there and bondo everything up. Because sometimes with the Bonto, when you do do it, you sand it down and there's still grooves and it shows through the paint. So, there's two different ways to do this guy. So, I'm going to be working on this, getting them all white and shiny. And then, I guess once we're done with this piece, I'll show you the, the finished piece on this compared to the bumpy piece. So, we shall be back. Okay, well, we got a little more progress on here, going from here to here. Just wanted to show you something real uh, real quick. I'm trying to get this off now. Again, more stuff from the uh, women's beauty supply aisle. 
If you're not man enough to go down there and buy one, then have, then have your wife <laughs> go get one. It's a blush brush. It's good for, don't use it for painting and everything, but it takes all the damn dust off of everything. And then you can just wipe it out and boom. So if you're, if you're scared to go down the ladies aisle and go get yourself a little, <laughs> little something that could help you model and just ask your wife. And she might be a little more curious about to why you want that thing you're sending her out there for it. Now the thing I want to show you as you're doing this, what I do is to keep the panel line, don't go too deep. I use the, I turn the X-Acto knife over. Actually this one's an, X, an Excel. But I use have an X-Acto blade in there. Tip down, turn it upside down so the cutting edge is towards you and put it in the groove, the panel line. Don't go too deep. Just score it so that you're keeping that panel line visible while you're working. Now like I said, don't go too deep on it otherwise your panel line is going to be way way too deep. This way you see your panel line while you're while you're sanding this sucker down and it's still there and you don't lose it otherwise you're going to have to try to replicate the panel line from your other side into this guy so I do a little if I see I'm losing the panel line I'll just bring this guy right down here tip backwards unless you have the right tool because there is a, a tool to do panel lines I just use my exacto knife and do it really really lightly or if you have Kenny you know what don't point over there can you do me a favor yeah and do you see the hook one that I have the one that's got like a little dentist hook on there no not that one it's got it's like a little captain hook no those are tweezers right behind the tweezers right behind the tweezers no no it's my cap it's my captain hook missing Yeah. uh-oh we found captain hook if you have one of these these guys He's got a nice little sharp point on him, and you can do the same thing. Don't gouge this guy into your panel line because it will really make your panel line deep. You see how it's pulling some plastic out? Just use that guy to keep your panel line fresh because especially if you make a mistake and you're just sanding all over the place and you lose it a little bit, but as long as you can still see it and there's a little gap in here, this guy, I'm not pushing deep right now because I don't want to make it any deeper. You just run them down, put a little pressure and you'll see a little piece of plastic come off. And then you'll still have your, uh, your panel lines. So I'm going to get back to uh, sanding this and then once this guy's sanded down, I'll show you a comparison between what the smoothie is and what it's supposed to be like and this guy side by side once we're done. So we'll be back. Whenever you're ready. It's on? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, after a while of sanding, taking breaks, sanding, taking breaks, this is what we're left with. We have the, uh, we've gone from nasty bumpy with these wildly crazy lines on it to a smoothie. Like I said, I left this here because I'm probably going to cut that out and figure out what I'm going to do with that. There's a few places, um, where the plastic is further down, it's not flush, so I'm going to have to put some Bondo in there and get that done. And what I forgot to do on video was I didn't want to sand off the uh, aft end of the ship that I'm not going to be using because we're going to use the DLM, DLM part on there. And this is what, uh, if I could get it together, this was here like that I didn't feel like sanding that stuff down because it didn't need to be sanded down this actually had to be cut off so you just uh, when it's on there there's a seam right here just trace up the line up to the top on both sides just use a regular razor saw slap that sucker off and then you're gonna have have that piece there if you're ordering the DLM up DLM parts then uh, then you do that. If you're not ordering them, then you don't have to worry about it. I didn't uh, sand down the, the DLM part to match up yet, but that's, that's going to be our new after end of the ship right over there, like that. And the reason 
why you're gonna get this part if you want to is because the shape it's shaped much better than this part that one's nice and nice and rounded it's the right shape it's got the right shapes over here and then if you notice this one this is decently rounded on this side and then it goes looking pretty ugly then it doesn't have the right bumps over here and stuff like that so be quiet wife we're making a film <laughs> that's right put her in her place I'll get yelled at for that after after we're done so this is what we have now if I didn't take breaks and stuff this wasn't that bad it took probably about 45 minutes to an hour going high uh, rougher grades to lower grades once you do get this part done you're still gonna have really fine lines in here so the suggestion is either use um, Duplicolor primer. It's a filler primer. It'll fill in all those little scratch marks, which I've used Duplicolor before. I don't like it. I don't get good results with it for some reason. I'm st I stick to stuff that's made for the hobby. What I'm going to use is uh, Mr. Surfacer primer on this. That'll fill in all the little all the little sand marks. Give us a nice smooth finish, and uh, it'll look all nice. And we'll have a nice clean ship to work with after I'm done with a million parts. So, that's pretty much that on the sanding. I gotta do another one of these. I missed some down here, so. If the young man wants to zoom out because you're gonna see my face really big, or move back there. Oh, I see dust on the lens. I gotta clean the lens off. How do I look? Am I in focus, dude? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. All right, well, that's, that's what's going on with that. Probably going to try to get at least two pieces done a day, get this done by Friday. This way we could start getting on to, to more stuff and see if I could get the brother to order the parts we need lighting wise. Uh, i got to figure out what the base is going to be, what I'm going to use to as a, as a stand for this, a pole, pipe, whatever you want to call it. This way I can run the wires through there because I don't keep my control boards inside the model ever. Why? Because if something goes wrong with that control board, I ain't popping this bad boy open to get to it. It's just going to not have lights anymore. So what I do is all the LEDs are in the ship. All the wiring runs down into the base and the control boards are down there. Uh, if an LED goes bad, then you, then you screw it and you're missing a light. What can I say? <laughs> so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the short film. It's just going to be pretty much sanding until we get to, to more parts of the ship. But I guess I'll keep showing you what's going on. So I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, I don't know, the next video will be up sometime during the week, I assume. Talk to you all later. Have a good night, guys. <laughs> Bye.